All right. Hi, folks. This is Nikhil Talwar here. I'm a computer engineer and I have a web company here based in Nasik. I'm here today to review the uh, BSNL EVDO internet device as they call it. It's also a 3G technology, but uh, they don't really officially know about it. Their website says nothing about it. You can check about it on the BSNL website. That's bsnl.co.in. Now I was lucky to get hold of this device, that's a BSNL e-video device, I haven't paid really for it. It's a tiny modem, it's a USB modem, that's that's really a ZTE. The model number is AC8700. Now it really, it's really tiny and it really fits into your palm. The good thing is the antenna locks itself to the cap, so you don't really have a chance of breaking it apart. Okay, let's have a look. That's nice. The cap is tied to the string, so you don't really would lose one. The antenna is really stiff. You can't really break one. Let's just plug this in. I've already installed it. Just for your information, I'll just show you how it works. Okay, that's my compact Casio B1900. I'm just plugging it into the USB port. And there's a small LED. That's blinking in orange right now that you can see okay the device is connected now i now there's a dialer that comes with it that's called the zte evdo now i'm not really into dialers so i won't really be using one although it gives you options like uh, changing the settings it shows you the signal strength i'm here on two bars out of four i suppose the various options are open URL, connection record, settings and uh, help. Let's really see what the settings are. That's the username, password, the phone number, the DNS server address if you need to use an alternative one. And, uh, and the default URL, that's it. Alright, I'll just show you how I connect to the device. Now this particular installation will form a connection onto your connection list that is a dial-up connection here it is it says it's the zte e video connection i simply right click say connect the connection dialog box opens up i say dial it says dialing verifying username and password registering in a flash it's already connected the connection speed it, it says is 9 to 1 kbps yes it's 9 to 1 kbps i know you can't see it all right Let's do some speed test. I am here on the uh, Calcutta telephones.com bandwidth testing website. I hit on the run test. It says conducting bandwidth test. It would take a few seconds definitely. Okay, I have the results in front of me. It says my bandwidth currently is 370 kbps. That means I can download at 46 kilobytes a second. Trust me guys, this is a really good speed, that too wireless. It says I'm above broadband and uh, it could definitely go above this. The person who handed this device to me told me it's up to 1.6 Mbps. I stay at approximately of around 3 kilometers from the BSNL exchange or the BSNL tower. Probably that's why the reduction in speed. But the room I'm sitting in right now is actually quite inside and it's it's quite walled outside i mean there are quite quite a lot of barriers for the signals to pass through so getting a speed of 370 is pretty decent let's run the test again okay it's it's getting better it says 409 kbps that means downloads at the rate of 51 kilobytes kb that's capital k and a capital b Pretty decent again. Let's run another download test. The name of the website is speedtest.net and I'm running a test with a Bombay server. You can see the map of India there. I select the Bombay server and I run the test. Okay, the ping time it says is 284 ms. Pretty, pretty decent again. It's, it's I'm sorry, it's 650 ms. 
all right it's starting the download speed test now it's already started you might be seeing the progress on your on the screen it's almost done 70 80 90 percent that is it's a hundred percent the download speed test is six sorry 367 kbps now the upload speed test mm, it's almost done and it's clocked 101 kbps again pretty decent so all in all i'm getting around 400 kbps let's check out what ip address is or, or let's check out a website now i would be i would be visiting ibnlive.com that's a pretty decent and a pretty loaded website all right it says 100 percent i'm using opera browser all right it started showing up all right it's pretty 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 decent great so it's it's loaded uh, i can i can probably show you a call how a call on skype sounds like okay skype is signing in signed in sorry i can't show you my id okay i'm doing the echo speed test that's i'm calling up the skype server that's echo one two three There's something wrong with the Skype settings. I suppose there's something definitely wrong. All right, let's let's browse uh, redif.com. Oh, that came up in a flash. That's pretty fast for a for a USB based internet connection. Okay, I'll just show you how the device looks like. Now you see uh, the size of the device as compared to the size of the laptop and it's pretty decent. I'll show you how I disconnect. I simply select the connection and I say disconnect. It's disconnected. The LED is turned green. I turn it off. Close the antenna and the cap. So here's the test. All in all, a pretty decent device to have. The tariff plan for this is 550 bucks a month for an unlimited download connection. Trust me guys, that's the best plan available. I'm getting one tomorrow, first thing in the morning. If you have any doubts or need some help, do get in touch with me. My email ID is nikhiltalwar at gmail.com. That's N-I-K-H-I-L-T-A-L-W-A-R at gmail.com. Thank you. Bye-bye.